We've all been inspired watching epic marathon runners like Kipchoge and Kozguy, but have you ever tried running at those paces yourself? Because I can tell you, it's hard. The Running Channel has set us a head-to-head -head knockout pace challenge, running some of the most iconic marathon paces through time. And our friends at Zwift have agreed to help us out. So stay tuned for some seriously fast running. Build a time machine to make this go faster. That's beat. Oh my god! Ah! Sarah and I are going to be pushing ourselves to the max today, so please give us a like and hit the subscribe button to cheer us on. Oh, and just a quick one, please don't try this at home. So we have to run each marathon pace for a full 30 seconds to clear that pace and step up to the next level. It's a good old fashioned knockout challenge and the winner is the one who can hit the hardest pace and hold it for 30 seconds. The paces are all iconic marathon moments and we'll be giving you a little history lesson at the same time. So clearly the only way to decide who's up first is a little game of rock, paper, scissors. Winner chooses who goes first. Ready? Ready, okay. okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. I'm the winner and I decide Sarah goes first. Oh no! <laughs> So we are starting off with the first official marathon record and then working our way up to the current records. And don't worry, we have warmed up. Oh, wish us luck. Okay, 11.5 kph. Let's get it up to speed. And we're there, let's go. So this record remained the unofficial world record for 37 years, mostly because of the lack of women's marathon competition. So Violet's marathon was an iconic moment for women in sport everywhere. Although it has later been disputed and some believe that Piercy may have miscalculated the route and only ran 20 miles. Either way, Piercy has gone down in history as one of the first recorded female long distance runners. If you're interested in learning more about female sporting history, make sure you check out our video all about it. Woohoo! Time up! And we are done! <laughs> Just keep going. No, come on. Don't take the mickey. Don't get cocky. That's actually really fine. I'm not looking forward to the next ones now because I've really made it look like I've taken that too easy. Okay. Right, 12.6. 12.6. That's quite fast. So this is a three hour 21 marathon, so kind of what I would have had to have run to actually qualify for Boston. And we are up to speed. So going forward in time now, and the first woman known to complete the iconic Boston Marathon was Roberta, or Bobby, Gibb. So her story is a pretty epic one. After applying to run the race, her race entry was returned along with a note saying that she wasn't allowed to run because women weren't physically able to run a marathon. Hmm. She decided to run it anyway and hid behind a bush at the start, then snuck into the field and finished the race in an unofficial time of three hours, 21 minutes and 20 25 seconds. Whew, she proved them wrong. Yeah, that's, that's enough of that speed for me. Done. Not too bad. I think when we get into the men's ones soon, it's going to start, start getting a bit tricky. This is getting into the danger zone now. Right, 14, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we are up to speed. Right, now we're heading back in time to 1908, where the first ever world record marathon pace was set by Johnny Hayes. So he actually finished this race second after Durando Pietri from Italy, but Pietri was later disqualified because he was given help near the finish line after collapsing. Beth Bonner is also worth a mention at this pace. She was the first woman recorded running a sub three hour marathon at a time of two hours, 55 minutes and 22 seconds at the New York City Marathon in September, 1971. Ah, okay, that's all right. I felt all right. I don't know what's in store for round two though. So how are you finding it? Oh, I don't like it. It's getting faster. We've gone through round one and I'm happy I'm through it, but next round two, how are you feeling? I am not looking forward to round two. So we're going to take a step up from 14 to 17 mm, kilometers per hour. Just a small step up. A smidge, yeah, feeling pretty nervous. Um, and I obviously chose you to go first so that um, if you can't manage the pace, 
sorry. <laughs> um, I'm going to sweep in and go for the win, so that's my tactics. That's all right, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Round two. Let's have it. Right, sub 2.30 marathon. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay, I press 17. Seven. <laughs> oh no, oh no. It's like when you think, <laughs> I don't even know what it's like. It's quite scary though. <laughs> Okay, we're there. Albert Mickelson became the first man to break two and a half hours, running two hours, 29 minutes and one second in Port Chester, New York in 1925. You can see I was starting to struggle a bit here and no wonder this is the speed I'd usually do in interval training. God, I'm drifting. I'm drifting. The great thing about using both Zwift and a treadmill here is that it takes the guesswork and the stress out of pacing and it allows runners to focus on their form, cadence and efficiency for the duration of the interval. Oh. <sighs> yeah, round two's no joke. <laughs> Let's see how Anna gets on. 17 kilometres per hour. Um, I did not do the maths, however, I did just look at what this was in real life minutes per mile and wish I hadn't bothered. Five minutes 40 ish. We are up to pace. We're pretty much flat out here, but in a regular interval session, a treadmill will make sure that you don't have any lapses in concentration that affect your pace. So if you want to slow down, you actually have to make that choice to press the button. Sarah made this look really effortless. It's hard. Hi. Thank God for that time. Round two could be the death of me. Sarah, next. I feel sick. 18.3. 18, one, two, three. Oh no, right, come on Sarah, come on Sarah. <laughs> okay, I'm out of pace. This is disgusting. I don't know what to do with my hands. I feel like I'm being chased right now and I might not make it. A particularly prominent moment in running history was Jim Peters breaking sub two hours, 20 minutes for the marathon. This had been equated to Roger Bannister breaking the four minute mile. So Peters was a running machine. He broke the world record for the marathon four times over in the 50s. Hi. <sighs> My heart rate's in the red, <laughs> but it's done. Over to Anna. 18. Point three. Okay, this feels like another massive jump. <sighs> okay, go, we are up to speed. <sighs> slipping further and further back. <sighs> this just got interesting. What calming thoughts? Calming thoughts. 18.9. I mean, Cosgai is an absolute legend, but at no point when I'm watching her on TV have I ever thought, ooh, I want to run that fast. Until now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Okay, we're at speed. History was made at the Chicago Marathon in 2019 as Bridget Cosguy crossed the finish line in a time of two hours, 14 minutes and four seconds. Right, head up, shoulders down, knees up. Build a time machine to make this go faster. Not only did she break the female marathon world record, but also became the first female to run a sub 215 marathon. 
Sorry. I think I'll leave it to Cosguy to do the other 26.1 miles. And now Anna's turn. 18.9. I just need to prepare myself for this. Okay, 19 minus one. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, just keep looking ahead. It's only 30 seconds. We're up to speed. I wish I could say something funny right now, but this is how hard it is. I've lost all my funnies. Sub two hour ten marathon, you say? Yes, I say in reply. <sighs> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ramp it up! Off we go! Sprout speed! I so almost forgot to say that! That would have been disastrous! Derek Clayton was the first person to break the two hour and 10 minute marathon when he set a marathon world best of two hours, nine minutes and 36 seconds at the Fukuoka Marathon in Japan in 1967. Come on! Gotta beat Anna! Think of all the things you can do in 30 seconds! Make a cup of tea! Tie your shoelaces! Yes! Even have time to say time my shoelaces. Oh, I feel sick. 19.5, the last pace of this round. I really, really, really want to get to the final round because I know what the final round is. Oh, come on, 19.5. It's only 30 seconds. 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 We are up to speed. It's only 30 seconds. Round two, done. Round two complete, how did you find that? That was so hard. <laughs> and like watching you do each one, I was like, oh no, I'm up next. But I just wanted to get to the end of round two. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage as well because I'm just doing it, trying to complete it and then going, please don't do it, please don't do it, please don't do it, we keep doing it. Why do you think I picked you to go first? Oh. And I'm like, I must beat Sarah. So one more pace, round three. It's the biggie. Yeah, we've both run it before, but we haven't had to do it for 30 seconds. No, and we haven't done it head to head either. I'm not letting you win. I'm not letting you win. <sighs> Let's do it. Quickly, pause in the comments. Are you Team Sarah or are you Team Anna? Ooh. <laughs> right, safety first. <laughs> and 20.8. I'm looking because I don't want to know. Okay, let's do this. In 2018, Elliot Kipchoge set a new world record at Berlin Marathon. I was actually running the race that day and remember seeing a man holding a sign that said 2.01.39. And I knew at that point that a new world record had been set. The atmosphere was absolutely electric. Oh my God! I feel like a yodeler. I can't do it! 
Oh, come on! Come on! Other things you can do for 30 seconds. This. Um, go on a Ferris wheel, which I can see on Swift. Ride on a blimp. I would much prefer to be on a blimp than be doing this. Over to Anna. You know that it's got to the business end when you've got to put the red clip on. Oh my God. Okay. I'm channeling my inner Kipchoge. He's calm. He is cool. Mind over matter. No human is limited. It's going to point eight. It's a disgusting speed. Come on then. It's only 30 seconds, it's only 30 seconds, it's only 30 seconds and I gotta beat Santa! Up to speed! Oh, that's hard. That is hard. That was savage. That was so brutal. And that was his official record pace as well. I know. Imagine if he stopped two hours. I know, it's absolutely ridiculous. And you talked the whole way through yours, which actually makes me even more cross that I couldn't quite make it. I mean, I didn't make sense if that helped. <laughs> <laughs> now, the producers did tell me how long you managed to stay on for. Do I you want to know? No, nope. I don't want to know. <laughs> 25 seconds. No! Oh my God, that just makes it even worse. I'm sorry to rub it in. <laughs> I was so close, but no, genuinely well done, Sarah. That was incredible running. How about you guys? How long do you think that you could run at an elite marathon runner's pace? How fast have you tried going on a treadmill? Maybe you've got a favorite Zwift workout. Let us know in the comments below and obviously give Loads of kudos to Sarah for that amazing win. <laughs> and Anna, she did absolutely <laughs> amazingly. And we will see you next time on The Running Channel. 